Here are some vocabulary words that you encounter as we read the story. Match the words to its definition in the left column. Use the moving pictures as hint for the correct answers. Choose only the letter of your answer. I'll give you a moment to answer this activity. Time's up. Here are the correct answers. Before we proceed with the story, take note of this following question, and watch out for the details that will answer to these, as we read the story. Thundering Water by Sally Lee. Yumi stood at the door of the cabin. She watched black clouds roll across the sky. This has been an awful vacation, she complained to Mai. We've been stuck in this cabin all week because of this rain. And I wanted to go into town with mom and dad today, but you had to go and get sick. I couldn't help it, Mai cried. Yumi didn't listen to her. My friend Sue is lucky. She's an only child. She never has to miss out on things because of a little sister, she said. With an angry click, she turned on the radio. This word has just come in, a man said. There is a chance of a flash flood in Green Valley. The water in Copper Lake has reached the top of the dam. The dam could move to higher ground right away. Should we leave? Mai asked. No, Mom and Dad will be home soon. I don't want to leave until they get here. Yumi answered. Yumi was upset. She had loved their vacations at Green Valley. She had fished in the river that ran in front of their cabin. She had climbed the steep hills that rose sharply on each side. From the top of the hills, she had looked out over the whole valley below. But this year the rain had spoiled everything. The sky grew darker. Heavy rain hammered against the windows, and thunder shook the cabin. Yumi, I'm scared. Mai said. What if the dam breaks? It won't. Yumi said. Besides, the dam is five miles from here. She hoped Mai believed her. Yumi didn't want Mai to know how scared she was. The radio stopped in the middle of a song. A man came on the air talking aloud and fast. The Cooper Lake Dam has broken. Everyone in Green Valley must move to high ground now. Yumi's heart pounded. Let's get out of here. She cried. She grabbed Mai's arm and pulled her outside. They could hear a terrible thunder that wouldn't stop. Yumi and Mai dashed towards the trail behind their cabin. As they ran, Yumi looked back. She saw a giant wall of water rushing down the valley. It was knocking down everything in its path. Whole trees were being carried away. Cabins were breaking apart like toys. Faster, my, faster. Yumi screamed. They hurried up the slippery trails. Yumi looked back again. The wall of water was coming faster. In another minute it would hit them. Yumi saw a large tree ahead. 
Quick, Mai, climb that tree. She pushed Mai up to the lowest branch. Then, she grabbed a hold of it and pulled herself up. Yumi and Mai were halfway up the tree when the water hit. They held on as tightly as they could. Our cabin. Mai cried. They saw the wall of water crash into the cabin. A few seconds it was gone. In a short time the flood water began to go down. Yumi and Mai climbed down from the tree. They made their way to the hill crest. Yumi cried when she saw what the flood had done. The once beautiful valley was now full of ugly mud. Most of the trees and cabins were gone. I'm glad we made it, Mai said. She gave her sister a quick hug and then grinned. Just think, Yumi, you had a chance to be an only child and you blew it. I did, didn't I? Yumi answered. But I wouldn't really want to be an only child. In fact, I was glad to have you with me up in the tree. Now, let's answer the questions that we hang earlier. 1. Who are the characters in the story? The characters in the story are Yumi, Mai, and the man on the radio. 2. What major problem did the characters in the story encounter? The major problem that the characters in the story encountered was the destruction of the Cooper Lake Dam which caused a flash flood that knocked down everything in its path. 3. What is the moral lesson of the story? The moral lesson of the story is love your sibling. Now, let's see if you really understand the story that we've read. I will read the question then you choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. Why did Yumi say that it was an awful vacation? A. The radio stopped in the middle of a song. B. She had climbed the steep hills. C. It has been raining all week. D. She had fished in the river. The correct answer is, C. It has been raining all week. Nani? 2. How come she said that her friend Sue was lucky? A. She had loved their vacations at Green Valley. B. She enjoyed their vacation. C. She's an only child. D. She has a sister. If your answer is, C. She's an only child. Then, you are correct. 3. Why did Yumi and Mai quickly get out of the cabin? A. Cabins were breaking apart like toys. B. The Copper Lake Dam has broken. C. The wall of water is coming. D. The rain stopped. If you answered, B. The Copper Lake Dam has broken. You are correct. Wow! 4. How did the two girls escape the flood water? A. They dashed towards the trail behind their cabin. B. They've been stuck in the cabin all week. C. They hurried up the slippery trails. D. They climbed a tree. The correct answer is, D. They climbed a tree. 5. What did Yumi realize at the end of the story? A. She realized that she really didn't want to be an only child. B. She realized that she really wanted to be an only child. C. She blew the chance to be an only child. D. The valley was full of ugly mud. If your answer is, A. She realized that she really didn't want to be an only child. Then, you are correct.